the surveillance camera figure. The gas station surveillance camera in New Mexico caught something that grabbed the eye of a police officer on duty. As the station was guarded by both a gate and an alarm system, this strange white figure couldn't possibly be a person. The other officers also informed that they heard unexplained noises in the area, which happened to be the place of a series of unsolved murders. The Soul Collector Lieutenant Frank Mara had seen a woman in a Red Cross outfit trying to serve the workers coffee and sandwiches. He was one of the officers given the task of searching through the World Trade Center rubble after the 9-11 incident. The woman disappears quickly, claiming that the other officers hadn't seen it. Lieutenant Mara believes that the mystery woman is a soul collector, leading spirits into the afterlife. The Enfield Poltergeist The Hodson family reported that evil spirits haunt their house. They claimed shaking beds, loud knocking, and furniture moving by itself. One of the children was lifted above her bed. Police Constable Carolyn Heaps confirmed in an official statement that she also observed strange activity like a chair hovering above the floor and pushed across the room in front of her eyes. The Capitol Theater Deputy Dave Murphy worked as a security guard at Salt Lake City's Capitol Theater. He says he saw dark shadows moving through the walls, a door slamming in an empty building, and some strange forces also attacked him. It is said that a 17-year-old usher died in a fire there in 1947. The Silbury Hill Beings An off-duty police officer, while driving through a row road, noticed three officers staring at the ground in a field. He stopped the car and approached them to help. They were over six feet tall and all dressed in white, but immediately they disappeared quickly with a sound of static electricity. He was left staring at a crop circle that had emerged a few days before. The Mysterious Voice With her 18-month-old daughter Lily, Jennifer Grosbeck was driving home and her car crash-landed upside down in a river. After about 14 hours, police officers reached the scene. They heard a female voice calling out to them and rushed to check it out. They found that Jennifer was dead and baby Lily was hanging upside down above the water, unconscious. The rescue workers hurried her to a hospital where she made a full recovery, but the officers can't describe the mysterious voice that saved the baby's life. Don Decker and the Devil The prison inmate Don Decker went for a short leave to attend his grandfather's funeral in 1983. At home, before fainting, Don saw a vision of an old man and the police officers saw scratches and burns on his skin. After his return, there happened strange occurrences in the prison. Randallsham Forest Incident RAF officer James Penniston and other officers witnessed something strange in England's Randallsham Forest. They expected a crashed plane, but the forest was filled with strange blue and yellow lights. The radio started to malfunction and the triangular craft suddenly flew away. Indiana Demon House Family in Gary, Indiana contacted police claiming that their house was haunted. They have witnessed strange footprints all over the house and the children levitated and walked on the walls. A local policeman believed a photo showing a mysterious figure on the porch of the home. When they moved to the other house, everything was normal for this family. The Devil's Peak Incident Maurice Frenchy Thoreau was forced to witness and practice some horrific abuse during his childhood. After growing up, he found that he had some strange abilities. He married, and in his new farm too, he encountered many mysterious happenings, like items going missing, strange voices, and blood everywhere. Frenchy submitted all his guns to the police because he was afraid what strange things he would do. Investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren did an exorcism on Frenchy, and the devil inside him was expelled. 